Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to draw the orthographic projection of the given view that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. If you look in front of the screen, you realize that I have reproduced the figure on my drawing sheet. Now, one thing about orthographic views is to look at the views that is associated with this diagram. We know this is an isometric. So it is a three-dimensional view. What are the views? We have the front television, which the arrow is pointing at, right? Looking at this direction here, front television, right? And the plan, looking at it from the top, that's another dimension. Then the end view, looking at it from this side, that is what? Another dimension. So we have three dimensions. So we have to bring out this three dimension out of this figure. So what you need to do is like casting an image in a mirror. Each dimension has its own mirror. So let's see for the front elevation, the dimension, let's see the mirror here. So if I should cast this on the mirror in this manner, right? This is my mirror here. Let me just show you. Now, this is the mirror here. This is where. I want to carve in the image. So when I reflect this image on this mirror here, I will call it a plane. I need to see the duplicates of what you see in front, not on the top or at the side, what you are seeing perpendicularly surface. So when you look at this surface, this is what you are going to see. So this is what we have here. When you are looking at it from this side, this is what you are going to see. That's what will be cast on the mirror, right on this plane. So looking at this plane, this is one of the dimensional view you will be seeing, which we call the front elevation. This is my front elevation, right? Similarly, when you are looking at the plan, what are you going to see? So let's see, the plan also has its own plane. Right, so let's see how the plane of the plan will look like. So let me bring out the plane first. So this is the plane of what? Of the plan. Looking at from the top, your image will be on this plane. I will told you it has three dimensions, that means three plane. So if I cast this image on this plane, I'll be seen from the top, looking from the top, which we call the plan. Right, you'll be seeing all these shapes you're seeing here, right? So what I will just do is now looking from the top, this is what you are going to see. You're going to see A, this is A. B, this is B, C, this is C, D, this is D, right? In between is E, and in between here is what? Is E. With these two points here coming up, that is E. Start again. Then here you see in this F, here is F, the other side here which is G, so that will be G. Start again, then the hidden line is this going in for me that is the hidden line so this is what we have here all together we have to come in here you know this this is what we have here h this is h i this is i j this is j k this is k l this is l right and so on and so forth so this is what the plan looks like it entails that they can look in from the top now the next thing is looking at it from here, from the side here, which we we'll call the end view. Are we good? So let's see the plane. Let me bring out the plane first. You're casting your image on this plane. So this is the plane here, right? So we want to cast this image 
here taking it from this side so if I should project this this way I'll be having this figure right and also I'll be having this figure too by looking this side here if this is P here yeah, also the word P then the next one is this Q which is this Q here all together we're looking at it from the side so, Close everything from here to here and everything from here to here because from here to here and from here to here will look as if they're on a straight line. So that is just like this. Then I'll close here up to this here up to Q. This is W. Here also the word W. Now there's something in here which we cannot see, which is this point here. So if I should project that point out from here touching here so that will be hidden line at this point here so I have this this way because we cannot see it from that side so I'll put hidden lines similarly this point too we cannot see it from that point so if I bring this here so that will be another hidden line right so this is what we have here Looking at it from this side, these are the things we are going to be seeing. So I think it now, that is the end elevation, right? So these are the views from this isometric position. These are the dimensional views, which is the front elevation, the end view, and what and the plan. Now this is giving you an insight on what you are going to see. And if you want to know how you can arrange this figure, right, in autogary projection. You can click this link at the top right corner of the screen and you understand what it means to arrange this figure in orthographic projection. Is that taking now by drawing your quadrant? When I mean your quadrant, you draw your quadrant this way and you arrange them. But these are the views you are going to be seeing. Is that taking now? So, um, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.